Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is May 13, 2021, and we celebrate the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. The Gospel said, The Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading and the Gospel carry the main message, the Ascension does not mean that Jesus has gone from us. The Gospel writers want to tell us that after the resurrection of Jesus, the Church began a long journey always in the company of its Master, though He was no longer visibly present. After Easter, the Church, now fully grown, is no longer always looking up to heaven. The second reading completes the message and reminds us that the Christian vision of the world is not limited by the boundaries of this life. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of god while meeting with them he enjoined them not to depart from jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father about which you have heard me speak for john baptized with water but in a few days you will be baptized with the holy spirit when they had gathered together they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on. He was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight, while they were looking intently at the sky as he was going. Suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. Responsorial Psalm God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord, amid trumpet blasts, sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, what are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of His power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. Alleluia, Alleluia. Go and teach all nations, 
says the Lord, I am with you always, until the end of the world. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Mark Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe, in my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Reflection Forty days after his glorious resurrection from the dead, the Lord Jesus, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to heaven in triumph. On this solemnity, the Church commemorates the first and irreversible entry of humanity into divine glory, when Jesus takes his human nature, which is inseparable from his divine nature, into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus ascends not to distance himself from us, but to draw us to himself. He is the first fruit from the dead and the only way to heaven. This reality illustrates the fact that we who have truly followed Christ and live by his standards will enter into the beatific vision with glorified bodies at the final resurrection. May Jesus, who has gone to prepare a place for us, send us power from on high. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.